Now probably the hardest part of the elusive press handstand is this bottom section where the toes start to come off the floor. So people get stuck in this position, they feel very, very heavy in the feet. Now obviously having good forward fold flexibility, compression, and just being able to basically get your torso very, very close to your legs is really, really important and helps to get that hip nice and high. So doing things like this, Jefferson curls, single leg hamstring stretches, and basically having the ability to get your hands very far past your feet is gonna make it much easier to push up high. And having protraction strength, so being able to go in that direction with your shoulders and hold and be able to hang out there, again, is gonna address the bottom position from the other side. So we've got the strength side and we've got the flexibility side. So increasing both of those things at the same time is gonna be really good for you. And make the going up to the handstand, mind the wall, much, much easier. But there's two or three other drills that I really like to use with clients to get that feeling of transferring weight to the hands and decreasing the weight out of the feet so we can start to get that lift off that we need. So number one would be straddle hops going in a forward direction. So with this one, we wanna externally rotate the hands. We wanna push up into the upper back, go up onto tiptoes, see if we can hop forwards. Now, if we struggle with that, we might need to add a little bit of a jump. And then over time, we just wanna try and decrease the jump so it turns more into a float and a lift. Now we can do the same drill, but backwards. So we go to that peak, but push back and up with the feet. And again, if you need to add a little bit of a jump, now, if I had to rate those two, I'd definitely do the forward movement one over the backwards one, but it's good to have the ability to do both and shows gaps. We can do the same thing, but coming out of the squat. So I extend up and go forwards. And again, the idea is to push us up into that direction. We can add a clap to the movement. So bringing the legs together. Now, bringing the legs together is really good for us because it can help to keep the hip higher for longer. So when I go up onto my tiptoes, I have to try and get the legs together. Now when I get my feet touch each other, the hip is staying high. If the hip doesn't stay high, I'll come down onto my feet like that. So I need to make sure that I stay up onto tiptoes, touch, and then if I can, I could do one, two. So you're just gonna spend more time in that sweet spot where the toes are coming off. I could also do sideways movement. So sideways movement is gonna take the hands this way. So I'm facing that direction, but I'm gonna go in that direction. So hands come to the side, hips come up, and then I bring the legs across. And then a great one, but a horrible one, is just holding for time in that position. So you can go up into this position, hold. You could just try and get 10, 15 seconds there, trying to decrease the weight out of the toes as much as possible. I could lift up, not trying to increase the weight on the left foot, but decrease the total weight out of both legs together. And then just imagine when you're doing any of those drills that your hands are on scales and your feet are on scales and you're just trying to decrease the weight out of the toes and increase the weight on the scales on the hands. So this is common in yoga where we put lots of weight back into the feet in like a downward dog position. But for the press handstand, we want to do the opposite. We want to decrease weight out of the feet and increase weight, weight, increase weight uh, out of the hands. No, that's totally wrong. Let me start that again. But in the press handstand, we want to do the opposite. We want to increase the weight in the hands and decrease the weight out of the feet. So have a play with each of these exercises and let me know how you go. Video from the side so you can see the hip placement relevant to the hands. So if my hands are on this line, my hip should go on top of that line and that's the point my feet can go up. What we don't want to do is come forwards like this too much because that's going to end up in a face plant and we're going to fall forwards. So the movement needs to be going up as the shoulders become strong and hold your weight and then the feet become light. If you do feel like you're gonna fall, you can do it up against the wall there. Just turn the hands out, get the upper back there, and just condition the position like that. Let me know if you have any specific questions around the press handstand down in the comments below. Check out the website, www.paultwyman.com.au if you wanna help with anything, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, guys.